Hello there, my name is Dane Lemaitre. Uh, welcome to the review. Uh, this is a review on back maintenance of the tractor. Um, again, I got this model uh, from Tootley Thomas. Uh, Tootley Thomas stock, uh, all things Thomas, old and new. Uh, they've even got new characters like uh, Hugo, who's Rao Zeppelin. Um, and I got this at the same time that I got the uh, lobster wagon uh, that I reviewed last time. Um, but like I said, this is on the Backman Terrence. Um, I think it's a really nice model. I hope you do too. And uh, please enjoy the rest of the video. So here you can see uh, I've got Terrence the tractor in the Backman range. Um, I've wanted Terrence for ages, but I decided to find a treat myself and get it. Um, again, I got this from Tootley Thomas, where um, I've got a few of my other things from uh, over the years, uh, Thomas related, and I recommend that you go there if you want anything Thomas, because uh, most of it's in stock, and there's also some items that I didn't even know existed, uh, mainly because these are imported from the US and other countries. Um, anyway, here you can see uh, I've got Terence, and he comes uh, with his uh, bulldozer blade, a uh, snowplow, whatever you want to call it. Um, that he had uh, in the TV series, which you can see in this photo here. Um, and the face, um, I really like. Um, it looks like um, what it did like again in the TV series. Um, you've also got, I've also got Terence in the Ertel range, and that was more based upon what he looked like in the first uh, series, like first and second series. Um, but like I said, this is a re representation of what he looked like later on. Uh, Terence hasn't actually been in the show for a while now. Um, the last time he was actually seen was in the film uh, The Great Discovery. Um, as I'm hoping we see Terence again, because um, obviously characters like uh, Daisy the Diesel Railcar have come back recently and proven they've got lots of potential still. Um, and it also ones like Bill and Ben, Donald and Douglas, so I really do hope that uh, Terence can come back again. Um, like I said, this is a near-perfect model of what it looked like in the TV series. Um, and the actual TV series model is now actually at Drayton Manor in an exhibit, and I'm ha actually hoping to go there uh, and see it. Um, and although he didn't appear much, I did quite like Terence, and he still made numerous appearances uh, in the magazine stories, and even now he still makes appearances in the magazine stories, so he's not been entirely uh, forgotten as such, even though he's not in the television series, and probably not as current with some children, but like I said, he could come back, uh, you don't know. Um, but like I said, I think this is a really good model. Um, Terence has a Caterpillar tracks, and these don't actually move. Um, what he has though, he's got four wheels underneath, and they do move. So you, if it's on a flat surface like this, you can move him uh, around. Um, you, do, you have also got some other vehicles in the Backman range, uh, like Terence. Not sorry, not Terence, sorry, um, like Bertie the Bus and Jeremy the Jet Plane. Um, and I actually picked up Bertie last year in the Hornby range, and that had a battery, and that could go along the floor um, and everything, and that could move by itself. Um, but I so say it's not such a disappointment that this one can't, though, to be honest, because um, on your layout, I think it would be best if you had like a field area uh, and Terence was stationary in the field, really, because. Um, He's just, I say, he's a vehicle, and I mean, obviously, Model Railway is about the trains moving, not the uh, vehicles as such. So he, he would be good at either on a road or in, um, say, in a field. Um, but, I mean, there's obviously probably so many lanes that Terence can go down, because, I mean, he couldn't go on a motorway or a dual carriageway because of how slow he is. Um, be a bit uh, lethal, I think it's fair to say. Um, but, like I said, I really do like this model of Terence. Um, and I'd happily give him a 10 out of 10. I think that's a fair and reasonable score. So here you can see the uh, packaging for the Terence. Um, you might be able to tell that from this that uh, it's actually quite small. I mean, I've seen uh, other people's reviews on YouTube of Terence the Tractor. And um, I wasn't always too sure um, how big he was, obviously. You know, obviously, uh, different people have different sized hands. So, you know, he could have been at uh, any scale. Um, you can probably see uh, I've left the price tag on there. Uh, 20 pounds um quite expensive and i mean my hornby bertie that i mentioned earlier uh, certainly didn't cost as much as that but at the end of the day you know 
Um, it was a treat at the end of the day, and it's one that I really like. And I think for the amount of detail, you know, I'd happily pay at twenty pounds for a model like this. To be honest with you, because I mean, when you're buying a model, you don't want to buy something cheap that's not fantastic sort of thing. Uh, you know, it's it's all it's about the money and it's about the quality of it and what you're sort of paying for, if you know what I mean. And obviously, the fact that these are imported from the US, um, United States, um, you've got obviously remember that whoever selling them's got to sell them for obviously a bit more than that as well. So there's all, all that to consider. But I say I think it was fully worth at the twenty pounds, uh, no doubt about it. Um, then on the back, you've got so like Gordon, James, Henry, of course Thomas, uh, Percy, Edward. Emily and Spencer, and then it lists uh, more engines there, and it mentions obviously they've got moving eyes. Uh, Terence doesn't have moving eyes because he isn't motorised. Um, he's not not the only model though, because there is of course uh, the back from Scar Louis uh, that doesn't have moving eyes either. Um, but that's obviously down to the scale. Um, and so, and I think uh, this model of Terence and. Um, Compared to his TV series model, um, he is uh, nicely in scale. Although Terence is an actual basis, um, some of the bulldozers and that were probably um, as massive. Another thing with Terence's model that's probably worth adding is that the bulldozer blade uh, doesn't go up and down or anything. I thought it might move. Um, and obviously you've got Byron in the wooden range and his blade does move up and down. I say Terence uh, doesn't, but as I, it's not really a huge uh, disappointment really. Uh, if you've got any questions you'd like to ask about this product, uh, f please feel free to comment below. Uh, thank you very much for watching uh, and goodbye.